when we first get a chair and need to break it down, need to take it apart, uh, it's actually very emotional. You remove something like 13 layers of upholstery in doing that down to the tacks. You're removing the springs and the felt and the hair and really what you're looking at is a craftsmanship and an artistry that's maybe 50 or even 70 years old. In terms of the wood it could be 200 years old. So it's a connection to everyone that's done it before you. You feel definitely part of a continuum in that tradition. It's like almost going back two or three hundred years to the time when it was first built. There is a sense of satisfaction in bringing it back to strength and beauty again so that it can be used for several more decades. My name is Elaine Nicholas. I'm Bob Nicholas and I run the business with my wife Elaine. I love mysteries because everything is a mystery. You never know how things are going to turn out. There's what you think you're going to end up with and oftentimes what somewhere along the process changes and something else evolves. So much of the process of both designing the fabric and making the chair is actually a process of discovery. It's almost as if the design has its own voice and from that point on tells us what to do with it and how to shape it in terms of the piece of furniture. I've been interested in furniture restoration for about 40 years and as a coincidence Elaine became interested in furniture upholstery and it was like a revelation that we could actually go into business together with complementary skills. the same way that every nick, scratch and dent on the show wood is a reflection of what has happened to that chair over the years. What you find on the I have found that I've always been drawn to things medieval, but within that broad range of things medieval it would be more specific. It would be the folklore or the mythology within things medieval. I've focused on English folklore, probably because the archetypes are so appealing. It's one conduit to express my interest in human nature and in human history. When you read a Dickens book, you're going back to the 19th century and, and the way people used to live back in those times. And there's something fascinating about that. The first moment that I ever entered an upholstery workshop, you could smell the cotton felt that's used in the padding of the chair. Uh, there was the Hessian, the smell of the Hessian the multitude of tools, there were the bolts of cotton cloth. Here were things that I could put together that I would enjoy spending the day with, and at the end of it you could shape something really beautiful. We are a disposable society. We buy things, when they break we throw them away. They go into the landfill and clutter up the planet. If you take something, something that was destined for the landfill, and you restore it so that it can last for, you know, maybe 50, 100 years, you've saved it from the landfill, and it's, it's really a form of sustainability. I'm Vanessa DeLeon and thanks for watching Spaces. Be sure to check us out on our episodes and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.